Hey, it's Long with a Screencast Quick Tip. Okay, so what the heck is up with Camtasia videos lately? A few weeks ago, I visited a website and was prompted to install the latest Flash Player. I normally do this, so I didn't think it was any big deal. But then something really weird started happening when I play certain Camtasia videos. Like when I went to my new friend Michelle Broza's site, eCover Effects, to get some graphics for a project. She does awesome work, and I wanted to check out a new video that she had. She's using the cool new Expresso player here, so let's check it out. Hello, this is Michelle from Graphic Freebie and eCover FX, and I have a special deal concerning one-click covers. If you've ever heard of that, which from Max Relitsky, I think you pronounce that. Covers is an old program that I've had for probably, oh, I don't know, three years. Okay, what is that? Kind of sounds like Elvin and the Chipmunks, but... It's almost as if they've invaded this video in an evil chipmunk kind of way. Turns out there's a problem with Camtasia Studio 5 and the newest Adobe Flash Player. The technical details aren't important, they just don't work and play well together. Yes, Michelle, you've been monked. It only occurs when producing videos as Flash, and all of the following are true. Number one, the project is produced to SWF, or SWIFT for short. FLVs work fine. Number two, the SWIFT file was produced with the MP3 audio codec. ADPCM, or uncompressed, work fine. And number three, the SWIFT file is played in the latest Flash player, which is version 901150. Earlier versions of the Flash player work fine. Fortunately, TechSmith jumped all over this thing and quickly put out an update to Camtasia Studio 5. The first option is to go ahead and grab this update, which is version 5.01 from TechSmith. I've put a link below to point you to it. This will take care of any new videos that you create. Of course, if you already have a ton of videos produced, like I do, Going back into Camtasia Studio and redoing them all is not the most attractive of options. Fortunately, TechSmith kind of realized this dilemma and put together a little tool that lets you take existing Camtasia videos and fix them automatically. I've put a link to that below as well. So there you have it. Hey, I'll keep you posted and remember, friends don't let friends make crappy videos.